Hey, what's up guys, Dark Killer here, and today I just wanted to make a video about GTA because you know what really pisses me off in GTA? When someone drives by <laughs> in a fucking armored car and they either run you over or they, they throw a grenade or something and you, you can't really do anything when it's one of these cars because you can't blow them up instantly because it'll take, it'll take one rocket I believe and you can't really shoot them efficiently because the the windows are bulletproof so I'm um, probably wondering what, what's the best way to kill them when they're coming at you well I, I did some testing and I'm gonna show you here which is the best gun to actually kill someone in an armored car I mean I know you can shoot a homing rocket about two times and that'll do it but there's a faster way to do it actually instead of that because with a rocket they can kill you when you're reloading when you shoot a rocket so that's not really the best way to do it okay so right here I did some testing with the the regular pistol the first pistol that you get and this is probably th the best way to get yourself killed if you're fighting someone in an armored car because it takes the entire clip to kill someone with this gun this is the worst way to try and kill someone in an armored car just just don't do this altogether Okay, so right here I decided to use a higher caliber weapon, and um, the heavy revolver actually destroys the window in, in three shots, which is actually pretty surprising. So it's a better way to destroy a window in an armored car besides the pistol, but it's still not the best way to do it. Okay, so this one really surprised me. When you think marksman pistol, you think one shot, one kill, like it's the highest, like one of the highest damaging weapons in the game, right? It's like, okay, if the heavy revolver destroyed it in three shots, this will destroy even less shots. Well, no, it didn't even destroy it in three shots, surprisingly, like four. Like, it, I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? It should be broken by now. Look, four shots, still not broken? What's going on here? Five shots. So basically, this weapon takes more shots to shoot out the window than the heavy revolver, which is just insane. So do not use this gun to destroy an armored car window. You will get destroyed. Like they will be laughing at you while you're shooting at their window. <laughs> Just don't do it. Okay, so here I decided to use the snipers. I thought this would by far probably be the fastest way to do it, right? Since it's really damaging and has really good range. Nope, it takes five shots to destroy it, just like the marksman pistol, which again is not the best way. I mean, it's a little better at range, a little bit more accurate, but it's still not a good way to destroy an armored car window. Surprisingly, the, the marksman rifle took the same amount of, of shots as the heavy sniper so if you're gonna use a sniper use the the marksman rifle because it destroys it in the same amount of shots but it does it a lot faster and it's pretty much the same accuracy okay so right here is when i started testing the shotguns and i did test all of them but i'm not going to show all, all, all the footage i'll let you know which one is the best one to use but uh the first shotgun the pump shotgun this one will take about six shots to destroy a window, which is not very practical considering it's pump action and you have to be close range, so you're definitely going to die using this. Just know that the best shotgun to use is definitely the assault shotgun. The heavy shotgun is also good, but it shoots slower. They both take around eight shots to destroy a window, and when, when you calculate the time to destroy, it's faster than the pump shotgun, like it destroys the window faster even though it takes more shots, so definitely use the assault shotgun if you're gonna use a shotgun, which is still a bad idea all in all. Okay, right here I started using the combat machine gun, which is the, the best out of the two. So this one took about 16 shots to destroy a window, which actually isn't that bad considering the fire rate, so this will destroy it in a decent time, but it still isn't the best at destroying the window and we'll get to which one is the best soon. Okay so here I started using the the bull pulp rifle which is uh, actually my favorite assault rifle in the game but this one will destroy in about 16 shots which is the same as the combat machine gun so considering the fire rate is extremely faster I would definitely recommend using this if you're gonna use an automatic weapon but it's still not the best when it comes to destroying and this one really surprised me the minigun will destroy in one or two shots and this is the fastest fire rate weapon in the game so it, it destroys the window in two shots and it's the fastest firing weapon in the game I mean what 
how how much how much better can it get? I mean, th this will literally insta kill someone if you aim at their head. So by far, this is the fastest way to kill anybody or their buddies that are hiding out in an armored car. Definitely use the minigun if you're in trouble. I mean, if you're a low level, you're not gonna be able to use this. So if you're low level, use the the the, the ball pulp or or s some other fast fire rate assault rifle. But if you have the minigun, d definitely use it to your advantage because you will melt anybody that thinks they can just roll up onto you and blow you up with a sticky bomb. This thing is just mayhem. Well, that's it for now. Uh, if you found any of this information useful, if this helped you in-game, please show some support. Um, I'll be doing more videos on GTA 5 soon. It's just uh, I've been a little busy lately. But um, if you enjoyed, if you want to see more, please show some support and I'll see you guys later.